Did you see the video of the girl playing the violin during a brain surgery? Do you think she was bored and wanted to play the violin to keep herself busy? No, I'm joking. Let me tell you why she was playing the violin during the surgery. The woman's name is Dagmar Turner and she is 53 years old. She had a tumour in her right frontal lobe which is this portion of the brain. It was very dangerous. We all have our own skills that we are good at, be it dance, singing, sports, etc. When you participate in a dance competition and perform, where does the skill come from? This ability is stored in the brain. Similarly, the ability to dance and other abilities are stored in the brain. The brain stores various skills. Similarly, Turner's ability to play the violin is stored in her brain. Right next to that place, the tumour has grown. The distance between them was as narrow as a credit card. This is very dangerous and a difficult surgery. Turner was very afraid. This is because if during the surgery, the part of her brain responsible for playing the violin gets damaged, she would lose her ability forever. She was worried because she has been playing the violin since the age of 10. If she lost the ability now, she would be heartbroken. She did not want to lose her ability to play the violin. Dr. Kiyomar Zashkin in the last one year has successfully performed 400 tumour removals. Before the surgery, once the tumour is found, then the operation is performed. However, during the surgery, after regular intervals, the person is roused and asked questions such as their name, age, etc. Once they confirm, the su surgery resumes. They are again woken up and asked if they remember to sing. This is because if the patient is not roused and after the surgery, the patient may wake up and lose their abilities. They want to avoid this. This is why before the procedure, Turner's tumour was located and her brain was mapped. She was made to play the violin to figure out which areas of her brain were active when she played the violin. Two hours later, the operation began and Turner was conscious unlike other patients. She was made to play the violin. She continued playing the violin during the surgery. If she stopped playing, it would mean the portion but that ability was compromised. If she continued playing, it means all is well. The doctor successfully removed over 90% of the tumour. And she was still playing the violin. This meant her memory was intact. She went home to her husband and son three days after the procedure. Turner hopes to be back with her orchestra very soon and start playing the violin.